It's time to talk about Smart Screen, built into Windows 10, built into the new Edge, and the Chrome extension. Let's take a look. Look, in my humble opinion, I think there's no excuse not to enable this, and I think you'll see what I'm talking about as we go through this. Smart Screen is pretty awesome. For me, this is a fundamental thing that everybody should have enabled. It makes sure that when you download a file or go to a website, that you're not trying to download anything malicious or to go to any kind of malicious websites. As I mentioned earlier, this is a pretty awesome feature of Windows. It's built in, it works really well, and you can manage it from your enterprise tools. So just kind of think about some of these benefits here. Again, it's built in. The requirements to enable this is actually pretty straightforward. You enable it in Windows Security Center or via your enterprise management product. And then if you're using Internet Explorer or Edge, either the new Chromium-based Edge or even the legacy Edge, then this will work for you. I'll talk about Google Chrome coming up here in just a minute. You'll want to be able to test this. And so Microsoft created two different sets of tools to allow you to test this without having to get real malware or go to a real malicious website. So let me jump into this and show you what I'm talking about. All right, so to enable this, we're gonna open up Windows Security inside Windows 10, go to App and Browser Control, and here you can see where you can configure Smart Screen. So I have it set to Block, and I also have Smart Screen enabled for Microsoft Edge, and I also have it enabled for Microsoft Store Apps. I could also do this via Group Policy Object, so this is where I'm uh, configuring that under, uh, under Administrative Templates, Windows Components, and uh, Windows Defender Smart Screen and Microsoft Edge. Boom, there it is. You could also do it with Intune as well. So to test this, we turned on the event log, which is not on by default. And so here you can see I was pulling my host name, but if we run this command, this will enable the event log for smart screen. And we're gonna to go to a website here in Microsoft Edge. This is the new Chromium based Edge and it's demo.smartscreen.msft.net. <clears throat> and when you get to this website, this is how we're gonna test it. So we're just gonna start at the top, is this phishing? So when I click on this, this is going to display a message right up here in the corner, and it's gonna let me know that, hey, this may be a phishing website, and do you wanna report this as safe or not safe? Um, it's just letting you know that this might be harmful. So it is a warning message, if you will. Now, if we go back, uh, let's go to an actual page that's been marked as a phishing page by the service. So we're gonna to go to a phishing website, boom, right there, it stops my tracks, I get the red screen, and uh, I can't continue to the site. Now if I click on more information, I do have the option to continue, but via group policy object or management through Intune, I can actually prevent the user from continuing. So keep that in mind. I'm gonna click on malware page as our next test component, and this is simulating go to a web page that contains malware on it, and again, I get stopped in my tracks. Let's try this again with this time downloading a file that is malicious. So when I click on this, it's gonna to attempt to download a file. Down here in the corner, you can see that the file was blocked as unsafe by Microsoft Edge. And you can see here, I've been testing this with some other stuff too. Smart screen is blocking that, it's doing its job. My other favorite one here is potentially unwanted download. <clears throat> and so if you run this, again, it's gonna to try to download a file that perhaps I don't want and it's going to display a message that Smart Screen uh, caught that. Now, my two absolute favorite ones are Exploit Page and Malvertising. This is a page that contains some sort of a browser exploit. And when I go to that, again, boom, it just stops me right in my tracks. Pretty cool. And then Malvertising. This is a rogue advertisement on a web page. And when I go there, boom, you can see the advertisement does not run. And instead, I get this red box with an exclamation point. So Smart Screen is doing its job. Now, if I wanted to run this for uh, applications, I could do that as well. So here's us trying to run an unknown program. And um, it was blocked. You can see that down in the corner. And then known malware, again, that was blocked. Let me show you down here in the corner. Really cool stuff. If we go into the event log and refresh the event log, here's our events for smart screen. And you can see that uh, it did get triggered. All right, the last thing I wanna show you here is just the ability to go in and uh, report feedback. So we're gonna go back to our, is this a phishing website? And when we get prompted here, we're gonna click on report as safe or unsafe. 
And this is gonna allow you to report this back to Microsoft, uh, whether or not you think it's unsafe or safe. And then our security operations center will take a look at it and, uh, and triage that. Okay, a browser is a very personal thing, I get it. So if you are using Google Chrome, you could actually download an extension called Windows Defender Browser Protection. Now, this does a few features like what I just showed you. So it's kind of like smart screen, but it's not smart screen to its fullest extent. So if you want all of those protections I just showed you, you do have to download the new Chromium-based Edge or use Internet Explorer. But let's take a look at what this extension looks like in Google Chrome. All right, here we are inside Google Chrome. So we are going to go up to the upper right-hand corner and click on the Windows Defender Browser Protection Extension that I just installed. So let's zoom in here for you. And this is that extension. Now it's kind of like Smart Screen. It does some of those features, but not everything. For everything, you have to actually use the, uh, the new Microsoft Edge browser. But we're gonna click on Demonstrate This Extension's Protection, which will give us this page here. And I'm gonna click on Malware Page. And again, this is simulating a malicious website. And here you can see just like an edge, boom, stopped my tracks and uh, I can't proceed because it's blocking. So pretty cool stuff.